Hello there. Welcome. Um, today I wanted to show you how I make uh, my husband's beard oil as well as my eye makeup remover. And um, there it is. So basically what I want to show you is for hair support, castor oil is your friend. And we've actually already made a batch of this. Um, this bottle is empty. I'm going to be recycling this bottle and I will be refilling it with this. So that's why that's here. So castor oil is your carrier oil base. And again, that's basically for hair support, for hair growth support. Um, and it's super thick, so it doesn't run down the beard or all over the place um, when you don't want it to. So this one's brand new. I had it laying around. So this is going to be my eye makeup remover. And this is going to be his beard oil because he already made a mess of the bottle. <laughs> and then, so the essential oils we're using today are Young Living. And um, Young Living, in my opinion, is the cleanest, most purified brand out there. And I did test 12 different companies and I did to try out our competitor and nothing has compared to Young Living. So my personal belief is that Young Living is number one, been in business for 25 years. I just don't think you can, you can match their quality. So the first oil we're going to use is cedarwood. Second is lavender. And the third is rosemary. focus. Well, it's not going to focus on that one. Anyways, these three are the combination for what we like to call mermaid hair. And so mermaid hair is typically what um, those of us in my essential oil team refer to as hair support in general. So you could actually make a spray with distilled water and um, non-alcoholic witch hazel and these three oils and spray it in your hair and get very good results. So today, I'm going to refill this bottle. <laughs> Apparently it's not open. One second. Okay. And that's why we have a baking sheet under here so that if I make a mess, it'll catch it. So I'm refilling this almost all the way to the top. And there was a few drops left in the bottom of it. Okay, so to give you an idea, the level is at about here, which is not quite up the neck. It's right there, just so I can leave room for the essential oils. Now for a one ounce bottle, which is 30 milliliter, which is twice as big as this particular essential oil bottle here. Oh, I hope I have enough. Okay, I'm gonna put 10 drops of each. And rosemary smells like the herb in your kitchen. So let's go with 10 to start. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha ha, that worked. And if you didn't already know, you can take your orifice reducer out by using the threads of the cap. Ta-da! Okay, so there's ten drops of rosemary. There comes ten drops of cedarwood. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And last but not least, ten drops of lavender. Now, just to let you know, cedar wood is a very earthy, earthy smell. So um, if you're not into earthy smells, it may be too much for you. So what you can do instead is 
um, reduce the amount of drops if you don't like the smell. So start with maybe five drops if it's too much. And then after you've mixed it around and made sure that you like the smell of it, then you can go through and um, add more. But ideally you want equal ratios of all three oils. All right, so here comes the lavender. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, one of the reasons that I left some room in this bottle is also for the dropper. So don't fill it all the way to the top because if you do, you won't have room. So we're about to find out. And I also have a little bit left in my vial or my dropper so let's see how oh that'll work okay so i'm going to go ahead i'm emptying out my dropper and i'm putting the dropper in oh good we have plenty of room closing it off now i am not going to shake this vigorously i'm going to swirl it usually i go like this it's hitting my ring <laughs> so just a quick little swirl And here we have my husband's beard oil. And then I'm going to repeat the process to make my eyelash serum. Oop, now I'm making a mess. To make my eyelash serum as well as my eye makeup remover. And this particular bottle actually came with a um, eyelash applicator. So I have that if I want, if I'm not wearing eye makeup. But this stuff takes off my waterproof makeup it takes off my savvy minerals it takes off everything and my eyes look good and my eyelashes are super long um they're just i have blonde tips but i've always had blonde tips but i actually when i got married two months ago got complimented on how long my eyelashes were so again actually no i won't do that um so that's how you make what i'm basically a mermaid hair concoction for beard oil or eyelash serum or eye makeup remover Okay, so it's that simple. And uh, again, this is a one ounce bottle. It's rosemary, lavender, and cedarwood. And it is castor oil as a base. That's how easy it is. So thanks for checking it out. Have a good one.